Shields up, Iron Breakers. Rick on here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And today, we're going to be exploring this area of the mountains over here. Because we kind of like sped on through to go get a map. And now I have to explore this. And this. And there's this tree over here that I suspect probably has something as well. So we're going to be starting off by these ruins that are directly in front of us here. Well, actually... Let me check out these ones first, and then we'll go all the way up above. Stargazer's Ruins. I mean, I, once again, I'm going to assume that there's like an underground section here somewhere. Is this a death drop? No, but I've been down there, right? Uh, yes, we have. So I see a couple of bats and stuff. Nothing too threatening, unlike the other ruins that we saw down there. Where did you go? You promised me when we turned 14, we go out to see the stars. It's this jellyfish. Wait, what if I summon Jellyfish Boy? Wait, did I lose Jellyfish Boy? I guess it's not Jellyfish Boy, it's Jellyfish Girl. That was really cool. That was actually really cool, I like that. I'm assuming that there was a seal down here that didn't let you proceed, maybe? I don't know. Primal Glintstone Blade. This right here is a charm. This is gonna be some kind of like magic thing. Spells consume less FP, but uh, HP is reduced. Okay. Not of particular importance to me. I'm going to have to recollect all of these items on PS5 because I'm probably going to try to shoot for platinum. I don't know how hard that's going to be, but we'll see. What do we got here? Freezing Grease. Wait, it specifically said Stargazer's Ruins. So considering that that part's been done, I would imagine that's all of it. Which means time to check out upstairs where we were over there, which I didn't really explore just yet. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, there's actually a bridge and stuff. Uh, well, the bridge will take me over here. Yeah, let's do that first, and then we'll check out the big ruins at the bottom, because why not? Man, that was really cool, actually. I really like that. I know it's a simple little mechanic where you just summon a jellyfish and it's whatever, but I thought it was cool. The nice little detail. Jellyfish gal's been with us for so long. Somber smithing stone nine. How generous of you. Big dirty rat over there. I suspect that we'll have like uh, an earth, uh, an earth tree avatar. Hey, you big dirty rat! Good day, disgusting rat! Bonk! Bonk! The bonkening begins. Dude, these guys hit hard.
Why don't you all settle down a little bit, right? Just settle it down. I love the sound of the footsteps in the snow, too. That's cool. Just a second. The game's a little bit too loud for me because I was raiding in Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. Uh, I got nothing here. Minor earth tree. There he is. How you doing, my dude, my guy? Oh god, this one's a tough one. Okay, in that case, why don't you let me buff just a little bit? Oh, you're gonna be like that, are you? Well, that's not really fair, is it? Jesus! You're gonna make me waste my buff, stop it! God damn it! Dude, he's got so much health. Oh no, I have the wrong art. I am so mad, because now I'm going to have to walk all the way back here. There's a side of grace on this side. Should probably use that. It'll be easier. Yeah, this will make it easier to, to get to the um to the earth tree, dude. Oh what the hell? Oh, they both die when I kill one? Oh, that's actually pretty easy then. Cerulean Crystal Tear and Crimson Bubble Tear. Okay. We'll take a, I mean, I can look at it right now. Cerulean Crimson Bubble Tear restores HP when near death. Mixed Physic. And there was a Cerulean, which I think is this. Restores half of total FP and mixed physic. Was it this one? Restores half. Restores half of total. Restores half of total. So now I have two of these. You can just have, like, two of them and you can restore full. Eh, it's not that interesting, personally. I like the ones I have. They're good. I particularly like how long the strength one lasts. It's fan freaking tastic. Uh, but I guess that kind of like cleans up the tree here. I saw that there were a couple of um, demi humans down here. I don't think they're particularly important. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much we can do here. So we will carry on. Carry on, my sons, forever. Carry on when I am gone. Okay, I think next up... Dude, 150,000 runes. 
Dude, I wish someone had, had gone through these um, episodes and like every single time that I mistook s runes for souls, they would tell me like, you said souls like this amount of times. It's so, like, at, at, that's, that's what somebody needs to do, okay? At the end of the playthrough, somebody needs to go through all of these videos and count the times I mistook souls for runes. I think that'll be a good use of your time, I promise. Uh, let's go some more Vigor. I think I'm gonna stop pumping Vigor around 60. At that point, I want to get some more Endurance, because I am beginning to feel uh, the lack of Endurance at this point. Uh, okay, so now we want to get down there. To those ruins over there to see what's going on. I'll probably want to pop my shield for that. Wait, there's a mausoleum down there, too. I totally forgotten about the mausoleum. I've been bringing mausoleums down, but I haven't really used any of them. Because, like, I'm not too interested in, uh, when it comes to Steam trophies. I don't really care too much about those. I do care about PlayStation. Not Steam trophies, it's Steam achievements, right? Steam achievements? I don't know. But either way, I care more about the PlayStation ones than Steams. Not that it's a big deal either way, it's just because I have friends that play PlayStation. More friends that play PlayStation than, um, than Steam, necessarily. That's why I care more about those. Although, I'm not sure if I'll do it or not, because I don't know... Like, if I put myself in a situation where... When it comes to trophies and stuff, if I put myself in a situation where I find that... Okay, the game's not being fun. I stop. That's pretty much the way that it goes with me and friends. So long as it's fun, I'll do it. But if it stops being fun, I stop. Like, I have 2,600 hours into Monster Hunter World and Niceborne. I still don't have the Platinum. I probably will never get it, because I, I don't find hunting gold crowns fun. So, do you have dirty feet? No. That means I'll have to climb you. So you're gonna be making a racket while I'm running around here. I should find a way to climb you so that I don't have to listen to you. Oh, interesting. There's actually a Guidance of Grace to go in here? This place might be a little bit more important than I initially gave it credit for. And we have Castle Saul. Oh, I like where this is going. Uh-oh. Never mind. Let's get rid of this guy. I heard you. But why did you take so much damage already? not smart. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Luckily, I don't think these guys respawn. I can't believe that. I risked it all because I didn't realize that the, the frost would actually stay on the ground.
And you can't actually see it because everything is snow in here, so it's whatever. Yeah, now he's the only one left. Oh, you started half health. Interesting. Why does this one start at half health? That's weird. else we got in here in golden room 10 I guess I'll start with the left maybe we'll come up with a way to silence big ding ding dong outside up into the ramparts let's go through here and see what happens the sledges oh all set Nice and butterfly. We didn't get uh, blast recoveries though. Hey, there's the mausoleum. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll grab this. And daggers. Liam guards. Why did I just get grenaded? Oh! No grenades, please. Really, dude? A friggin' ballista? Okay, well, that's just unfortunate. Alright then. I'm still coming through. I don't give a damn. Dude, you guys don't quit, do you? Wait, where'd the other guy go? Oh, what? Six? What in tarnation's that? Six? At this stage? Sir, I'll take eights. Eights or above. Don't friggin' cheapskate me. Okay, so how am I gonna jump up there? I guess if I can... Eh, no, we can't inch in here. Okay, they're not gonna make this easy for me, huh? How far are you gonna make me go? Bastard. Okay, that's how we get there. That's gonna be an absolute pain. This is a pretty big place still. We still have to go all the way to all the other towers, but I, I just want to get rid of the incense and dong, dong. 
There we go. Wait, what? This one doesn't have anything to clean up. I actually don't know how to bring this one down. Oh, it does. It's in the feet. There you go. That's another one brought down. Alright. I don't think that the dudes will spawn now because once the usually once the mausoleums are down, it's like whatever. I should actually mark the mausoleums in my map, to be honest. I'm never gonna remember where all of them are if I ever need them. Oh right, you guys are here. Bye bye. I'm gonna go to that middle section because there was a ladder there. And I wanna check that out. Now it's time to find out whether or not you boys are gonna spawn if you don't have something. You do still spawn. Alrighty then. Now oh, then, down here. Watch there be just like a super easy entrance from the bottom. There isn't. Ooh, a painting. I think this one would be easy. Sorcery. Yoink. This will be a shortcut, most likely. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, it's a shortcut if I need to go up there. Which I probably won't anymore. What? No! Oh my god, no, 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 please, no, please, don't, 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 no, no, please. Not this stupid fucking bird. Look, dude, not many things scare me in this game, but this bird... Thank God. Phew, that bird is the most dangerous thing in the whole goddamn game. Like, nothing comes close to that goddamn bird. Thank God there's a side of grace. Oh crap, there's also one of these. Whoa! No thank you, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and take a hard pass on that. Thank you very much. Hard pass. All right, give me this. He didn't even give me anything. What a douchebag. Okay, we're gonna pop this. Can I open this? Nope. Can I open this? So it's all to get whatever happens to be in there, okay. Well, we'll get to that, because right now... I think that you straight up can't open that door. Because right now the courtyard's clear, so I can check this place out a little bit.
There's also the other side to explore. Smithing stone five, really? Fives and sixes? Oh, there's a boss here. We're gonna need this elevator to be in working conditions. Oh, so we can just like run from downstairs. Can I call the elevator here? Is that the only way up? Okay, doggo and a knight. Oh crap, these are some tough doggos. Oh no 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 no. This point was for me, sir. Hi, doggo. And other doggo. Babu! What? No, 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 no. One more. Dude, look how hard he bites. Their bark is worse than their bite my ass. This guy's hurt. Okay, this clears that up. I will assume that there's something to get here, considering how well protected this position was. Stone sword key. Okay, side stuff. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see. Anything here? No? Good. This way? Uh, this is outside the castle, so it's whatever. Okay, so we'll drop here. Oh, crap. Did you really just like with the two lousiest mobs in the game you did this to me? Well, they're not the lousiest mobs in the game, clearly, but... You know, they're not, they're not, they're not supposed to be that big a deal. Can't believe it. But there were two of them. That's the thing. There were two of them. They had, they're just, you know, they had the numerical advantage. I guess. Yep. Let's just actually skip this. We'll go here. Doggos spawn over there, but the two assholes spawn over here. Now let me have a little bit of a conversation with the two of you. Yeah, that that's that went about as well as I would have expected. Did I do this already? I don't think so. Oh, I don't think we've been here. Oh, yeah, actually we have. Yeah, this is the path that we take. You're dead. You're gonna be dead soon. Oh, the other one spawned as well. So these guys spawn when you enter here. It's annoying. Let's try, Mr. Icy. But I win this round again! Sir. Oh, it's the bird. Oh, God. I'll oh, screw that bird. Keep that bird away from me. And he's coming. I heard you. I freaking heard you. Big dumb bird. You stay the hell away from me, dude. You stay the hell away. I'm warning you. I am warning you. Dude, I need to see how powerful knives are. How powerful can I just, like, bash this bitch? It's like a throwing dagger. Lol. Dumbass. 
okay. I guess I'll grab the item now. Oh, great son, frigid son of Saul, surrender yourself to the eclipse. Grant life to the soulless bones. Eclipse Chatel. Storied sword and treasure of Castle Saul that depicts an eclipsed sun drained of color. One of the legendary armaments. In Saul, the sight of an eclipse inspires a dreadful awe, preventing an onlooker from averting his gaze. Unique skill Death Flare sets the lusterless sun ablaze with the Prince of Death's flames, inflicting the death ailment upon foes. Follow up with an additional input to bring down the armament, triggering an explosion. Nice. Requires faith. Oops. Let's see what's on this side before we head over to the boss. I'm not going there. Too much hassle. And the only reason I'm coming here is because I know that this is the only place that you can fall down to, I think, to collect that. So, we'll do that. We'll collect this. Which is not even that important, really, but... Those birds... Oh, hell no. I don't want nothing to do with them birds. Optional boss area? No. Graveyard. Graveyard. Whatever the sarcophagus thingamabobs that give us runes. I call these rune farms, to be honest. That's what they are. You just come up to them and you just farm runes. That's all you really come to do here is like, oh, let me farm some runes. I mean, it's not really farming because you're just collecting them once, right? I don't think they respawn. That's a death drop. As far as I can tell. Could there be more things hidden in the cliffs? Eesh. We almost fell to our death. We don't want that. Okay, I don't think there will be anything else here. This was just to get access to the sarcophagus here. Uh, there is a passageway back into the castle, it seems. Or maybe not. There looks like there's no way back in once you're out. You have to go back in from the main entrance. Alright. I guess we'll do just that. And at this point, I feel like we've explored both sides. So the only thing really left to do is the boss. Right, yeah, we've explored both sides. Oh god, not that big dumb bird again. Wait. I haven't been to that tower. Can I get there, I wonder? I don't think I can. I guess I could... Yeah, I can get to that rampart. It'd be a little bit annoying, but I can get to that rampart. Church of the Eclipse. Basically, I just circle around from the place that I was at. Let's see, so... If I go this way and then through here... What's the... I was looking at the stake. Oh, I haven't been here, have I? 
No, I haven't. Oh, these dudes. They're getting grabby albinorics. Whoa, 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 Where the hell did these guys come from? Excuse me. Aw, dude, what? It's like friggin' three knights in there. All of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, there's knights everywhere now. Good luck. Or like, good night, I guess. Damn. That's pretty dirty. I thought this would be real. That was a little bit dirty. That was on the uh, on the spectrum of sulliness. Actually, I think it might be easier to just take the elevator up to go to the boss. Am I still in combat? Does anything spawn if I just run here? Oh, I don't think that anything spawns if you just run here. So, it might be a lot easier to just make this run. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but uh, there's not as many enemies. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this run for the boss. We're going to see what kind of a boss awaits us there. Now it's just like a huge Solaire, because this is Castle Sol. I mean, they got to give some kind of a reference to Solaire, right? There's been so many references to so many things. I hope that they're not... No, the Solaire reference was the Dung Eater. It's like, please don't. Don't do that. I'd be so sad if that was the case, dude. They can't do that. They would never do that. Come on, let's be reasonable. They wouldn't do our boy dirty like that. And I do mean dirty. I mean dung eater? Come on. Wait, don't tell me I can't summon the ele- Oh, I can't. See it. Wait, what? You have to activate it first. Oh, you are kidding me. You have to activate it from above first. Well, that makes sense. Alright. The time has come, team. Here we go. Yoink! I just settle down there, Sir Knight. But you want some of this? Come and get it. Then homeboy over here. Get the hell out of here. So now I'm gonna jump this bad boy down. It'll be active. See what we get. Commander Nile. I already killed you once. Oh, okay. You got spirits. Oh, and they're ice. Dude, he's got health for days!
There you go. That was actually easier than I expected. Because I thought that if I killed his two adds, that he would summon more. But then I tried killing the two adds and they didn't summon anymore, so that made it incredibly easy. Because, like, the one-on-one -on -one fight I can take. The one-on-one -on -one fight's not that hard. That's another level. Almost that 60 bigger. Then we get to pump more endurance. That prosthesis thing of his looked very interesting. It's probably a dexterity weapon, I would expect. Dexterity faith, maybe. No? Strength dexterity. Bladed prosthetic leg and wreath with the power of lightning, instead attached to the fist. Commander Nile, veteran of Castle Saul, offered this prosthesis in exchange for the lives of defeated knights held prisoner. He went on to lead these men as an army of no nation. Wait. I mean he offered this prosthesis. He has it. He owned it. A storm kick. Thrust the prosthetic leg into the ground, creating a storm. Follow up with a strong attack. Perform a lightning infused jumping attack. So it's like a hook. Oh, wait. You can... Ooh. That's pretty cool. Only the strong attack does it. But yeah, that's a pretty sweet thing. Not really my style for this build, but it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet weapon. And you guys know this build. This build is Big Hammer Go Bonk. What was Mr. Nile guarding back here? Nothing all the way in the back, very well. And why was it important that the Guidance of Grace would tell me to come here? Because, like, if we look... Guidance of Grace does aim towards this castle. So whatever is in here is supposed to be important. to say. Lord Michaela, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I'll never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Halleck tree. Halleck tree secret medallion left. I wonder... I wonder... Where does this take us? Wait, where's your brewery? Burn the earth and incinerate all... Ah, oh, may... May camp? Okay, so this is the same stuff that you told me last time. Okay, back to the grand lift of rolled. Wait, this is downstairs. This is upstairs.
Which medallion am I hoisting? This is not the one that I want. Because this is just going to take me downstairs. Maybe I have to use it downstairs. Wonder if it'll give me a choice of medallion to use. Where's my one? Oh, I'm running out. Okay, so, so now you're going to give me a choice. You have to give me a choice. Well, maybe I should read it. So I have Decus, Decus, Halleck, Tree, Secret, left and right. Brandishing the down, both halves can join, will activate the grand, grand access to a hidden path. In other words, this secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Myquella's Halleck Tree. Oh, you can switch action to hoist secret medallion. It's a halfway point. Which makes sense because that place is in a lower plateau. Nope, can't summon the horse. Straight into a catacomb, huh? Mistake of Marika? Hidden path to the Halleck tree. And the summoning pool. The beast eye quivers. Someone who lives in death is here. It's a good thing there was a stick of Marika there. Anyway, I'm going to be calling this episode here. Uh, I thought that we were going to be able to get to, like, topside, but it looks like there's still a, a catacomb to do. And I want to get some sleep. It's, like, 1 in the morning. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.